Since the Fifth Wars began, 96 robots have been smashed, bashed, dashed and trashed. And now, only the four most ferocious survive. Tonight, we will crown a British champion. Tonight, we will set the war zone on fire. So, are you ready for the ultimate fight? Yeah. Are you ready to find a champion? Yeah. Well, before we do, let's relive the road to Armageddon. 12 heats and two semi-finals ago, it all started with reigning champs Chaos 2 making light work of the Tartan Terror before flipping and tipping the Steel Avenger. The champs looked as awesome as ever. But during a titanic battle against Smitty, they both became immobilised. Both robots obviously immobilised at the same time. The judges have instantly called for a rematch. Back into the fray. It was Chaos's day. Bulldog Breed took a bite out of Juggernaut in our second heat. But the show belonged to Hypnodisc, who bombed Atomic sending it to total meltdown. Against the heavy water boys, this was heavy metal thunder. And then they sent the bulldog to the doghouse. Heat three and Shredder wanted a piece of the mousetrap. It looked good. Should have looked where it was going. Newcomer S3 was the most impressive of all, though, taking the venom out of Stinger's tail. In show four, while Reactor upended Bot out of hell, and Gemini proved double trouble for Dougal, the heat final saw Reactor up against number seven seed Firestorm, and the fire put out the Reactor's core. The fifth heat and prize fighter two broiled Thermidor, the lobster couldn't claw its way out of that. Then the fighter went on to meet Wild Thing. And they looked king of the ring for a while. Jab and move, jab and move, Wild Thing on the ropes. And then came the technical KO from the judges. They've gone for Wild Thing. Bet you feel cheated. Yeah. Halfway through the heat, Dominator 2 dominated. And Exterminator, Exterminated, Obliterated, Immortalis, no longer immortal. The newcomer, Corkscrew, though, made it through to the heat final, losing out to the mighty Dominator. Deator started a promising run in Heat 7, dispatching the Dome down the pit. Then they caused one of the biggest upsets in the history of Robot Wars by pitting 12 seed Tornado. But Stalwart Spawn again ripped through their competition before poking one in the eye for Deator in the heat final. Nothing dotty about Spawn again, through to the series semi-finals. Wheelie Big Cheese was back in heat eight. Wolverine knew all about it. Granny's Revenge went up in smoke and chased by Axor. Gran then went down the pit and nearly took the ref bot with her. Behemoth turned the lights out on the supernova, sending it into a black hole. And who has a wheelie big flipper? Did you see how high that robot flew? Wheelie Big Cheese has the flipper. Crustacean had the victory against Behemoth before the cheese had his potted crab. Bigger Brother returned to the war zone with a much improved flipper based on Chaos 2 and Tip Top were first to fall out of the arena. Splinter were next to go and we were marvelling at the improvement in Bigger Brother. Out they went again. Little Joe and Ellie were enjoying this with Dad Ian, but they couldn't quite get a hat-trick with three stegs to heaven. So instead, failing to toss stegs out, they took out their frustration on shunt. Before finally sending three stegs down the pit of oblivion instead. 
backwards to kill a lot. In Heat 10, Cat 3 made light work of Welsh Wonders' Minnie Morgan. The kitty cats were dancing as Matilda and Sir Killalot taught Cliptonite a lesson. But it was the awesome driving skills of Kim Davis impressing us all. First knocking out Barbarous, and then instigating the fall of Tiberius the Emperor before making sure Cat 3 had used up all its nine lives. Next up, reigning world champions Razor met their partners and a feisty ultimatum. If they beat us, no more washing up, no more hot dinners on the table, and I'm putting his bed in the shed. <laughs> well, we're, we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't, aren't we? So they threw caution to the wind and wrecked their revenge on the widows. Heat 12, Ming 3 falling foul of terahertz. And they in turn met the mighty Fluffy. But the bigger surprise came when number two seeds Pussycat lost their blade. We thought it was all over for them, but sensationally Fluffy lost power. And the cat returned to fight in the semis. In the first of those, S3 were bumped, bruised, beaten up and buried Big Brother style. Chaos 2, the champs had to hold on against the wild thing, twice nearly toppled. But they fought back strongly, and they won it on a judge's decision. Spawn again was no match for Razor. In the loser's melee, Wild Thing was sliced by S3 as Spawn again went down. Chaos 2 surely to go through against Bigger Brother. No, they ran out of gas, couldn't self right Brother through to the grand final. The George Francis reign over. Then, S3 cut apart by the Razor. And it was the world champions also through. In the second semi, Dominator 2 dug deep to find a way to beat Wheelie Big Cheese. The flipper found it out, but the cheese then conked out, and Dominator 2 survived. Even that. A shame to see such power wasted. Then, a shot. Second seed's Pussycat beaten by Firestorm. Even though Firestorm had previously lost to Hypnodisc and had to fight its way through a loser's melee all the way to the grand final. For Hypnodisc, a lot easier. Dominator by name, not by nature. The spin to win boys through to our fifth wars grand final lineup. The four finalists then Hypnodisc and Bigger Brother. Firestorm, of course. And Razor. But just before we juice up the finalists' batteries, a salute to all our heroes of the Fifth Wars. It's our robots' roll of honour. First up, the Best Design Award. The nominations: Thermidor 2, Terahertz, Razor, Bigger Brother and Wowot. Let's look at them. Thermidor 2 has that very powerful flipper this time around. Terahertz, rebuilt from the old kilohertz, has an axe only matched in power by Dominator 2. Razor is ever nominated for beauty and power. Bigger Brother with the greatly improved flipper, perhaps inspired by Chaos 2. And finally, well, what didn't last long, we like what we saw, a striking design. And the winner is... Razor. Congratulations to them. The next award... The best engineered machine. Dominator 2, Spawn Again, Derek, Firestorm 3 and Razor, the nominations. Dominator 2 has the axe and the bi-wedge design. 24 volt motors hidden within. Spawn Again had the lightweight box section, but a very powerful CO2 flipper at 750 PSI. Derek didn't fare well in competition, but our judges said it was beautifully constructed. Firestorm's engineering includes a 36-volt primary engine and a 24-volt secondary engine. 
Razor's engineering includes two trolley shop caddy motors. So impressive. And the winner is... Derek, a surprise for many, perhaps. The next category, the best original entry. The nominations, S3, 13, black and 11. S3 looked like a hammerhead shark and had the bite to match. 13, a double roulette wheel. Spun its way to destruction, unfortunately. And legs 11 looked magnificent. What a feat of engineering. Ooh, didn't last long. The winner, S3. Well done. The next category, the Best Sportsmanship Award. Two nominations, Pussycat and 13 Black. In an award really given for work helping out others in the pits, Alan Gribble, David Gribble and Robert Bettington have always been at the fore. And also good sports in the pits this year, the 13 Black Boys, John Denny, Richard Morris and Ken Wilson. The winners are... Pussycat and the Gribble Boys and Robert Bettington. The most promising newcomer nominations are Fluffy, Crustacean and S3 again. Fluffy had an absolutely destructive blade in its first appearance in Robot Wars. I thought it would go further. Look at the damage caused to Pussycat. Crustacean looked mean. A lean machine. And Bearmoth felt the full force of these newcomers. And S3, with that vertically mounted blade, was so awesome. And good fun, too. And the award goes to... Fluffy! Congratulations to all our winners. Next, it's the grand final. And Philippa's in the pit. They're ready. Well, the judges have made their decision. You know the criteria. Style, control, damage and aggression. And Ellie and Joe, I'm sorry, but they've given it to the new UK champions, Razor! I have to say, these two, this family are amazing, and these two are heroes, and I know the Razor team agree with me. Yeah, You're yeah. brilliant, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you are. And th next time, who's going to win? Us! Yay! Next time, you can do it, because the Razor team, it's taken them a long time to get this far, and finally it's their turn to win, yeah? So we're proud to present them with the trophy at last. There you go, guys. Well done. Show well it to done. the audience. Well done. Well done. Let's hear it for Razor, the new UK champions. Well, they've got the trophy. Cue the applause. We've got a brand new champion on Robot Wars. Bye-bye.